The failed concession of Rift Valley Railways is still fresh in the minds of Kenyans and Ugandans who jointly own the Rift Valley Railways. But in a quick turnaround, a Brazilian firm has signed up to turn around the railway in just five years. The current shareholding structure is made up of three strategic investors, namely Citadel of Egypt, Transcentury Limited of Kenya and Bomi Holdings. The shareholders are a critical part of the smooth running. Their interests are completely aligned. They have a focus, a focus purpose where they want to go and we are working with all the shareholders very well. America Latina Logistica, which was among the firms given to the RVR board for selection by the IFC, is a Brazil heavyweight, having successfully privatized the national rail line, a factor that attracted RVR to it. It runs an over 20,000 kilometer network covering Brazil and Argentina and is listed on the Sao Paulo Stock Exchange. Now, the terms of agreement in terms of a technical uh, point of view seem to be very clearly outlined but what are some of the changes in management that we should expect to see we are getting some sea levels from uh, brazil from wal the chief operating officer and uh, the chief finance officer we have decided will be uh, we'll get somebody local and then we are getting uh, the chief commercial and marketing manager then we will be getting a human resource manager but this we are getting somebody within, and when I say locally, I'm talking about either Kenya or Uganda. There will be a total of seven Brazilians on the RVR management team interviewed by the RVR board and will be employees of the Rift Valley Railways. The turnaround is expected to positively impact the current revenue streams, where 96% is from freight and 3% from passengers. Rift Valley Railways has inherited a pretty tough legacy from back in the 1900s when it was known as the Lunatic Express to the most recent Roy Puffett scenario where the main investor took off. But with the coming of America Latina Logistica perhaps, after all, there is light at the end of the tunnel. Reporting for Citizen Business, I am Terry Ann Chibetz.